Are you ready for an epic adventure into the unknown? Buckle up as we explore Jacob's Ladder and the Quantum Realm, a mind-blowing connection that will blow your socks off. Have you ever wondered about Jacob's Ladder, that amazing dream that Jacob had in the Bible, where he saw a ladder or stairway that connected heaven and earth, with angels going up and down on it? Did you know that some people believe that this ladder is not just a symbol or a metaphor, but a real thing that exists in our world today? In this video, we will explore a fascinating and outlandish theory that suggests how Jacob's Ladder and the Quantum Realm are related, and what they reveal about the nature of reality. Hold on to your hats as we dive into the realm of crazy ideas and uncover some incredible secrets hidden in an ancient text. But before we begin, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this one. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. All right, let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome to Faith Fix, where we explore the most intriguing and controversial topics in history, science, and religion. I'm your host, Orphelian, and today we're going to talk about one of the most mysterious and enigmatic phenomena in ancient lore, Jacob's Ladder. Jacob's Ladder is not your typical biblical story. It's a thrilling mix of human and divine, mystery and wonder. It tells the story of Jacob, the grandson of Abraham, who had a dream in which he saw a ladder or stairway that connected heaven and earth, with angels ascending and descending on it. He also saw God standing above the ladder, who promised to bless him and his descendants, and to give them the land where he was lying. Jacob woke up from his dream and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. He called the place Bethel, which means house of God, and set up a stone pillar as a memorial. Jacob's Ladder has been interpreted in many different ways by various traditions and scholars. Some see it as a symbol of the communication between God and humans, or between different levels of reality. Some see it as a metaphor for the spiritual journey of the soul, or the ascent of consciousness. Some see it as a representation of the cosmic order or the structure of the universe. But what if there is more to it than that? What if Jacob's Ladder is not just a dream or a vision, but a real thing that exists in our world today? What if Jacob's Ladder is actually a quantum portal that allows access to different dimensions and realities? What if Jacob's Ladder is actually a gateway to the quantum realm? This is where things get really interesting. According to quantum physics, which is the branch of science that studies the nature and behavior of matter and energy at the smallest scales, the reality is not as solid and stable as we perceive it to be. Instead, it is composed of tiny particles that exist in multiple states of possibility until they are observed. Quantum physics also suggests that there are multiple dimensions of reality beyond the three spatial dimensions and one temporal dimension that we experience. These dimensions are hidden from our senses, but they may be accessible through mathematical models or experiments. These dimensions may correspond to different parallel universes or different aspects of a single universe. Now, what if we apply this analogy to Jacob's ladder? What if the ladder is not just a linear connection between heaven and earth, but rather a multi-dimensional structure that connects different realms of existence? What if each rung of the ladder represents a different dimension or universe, and each step represents a quantum leap or transition between them? What if the angels are not just messengers of God, but rather quantum entities that can move across dimensions and realities? This is where things get really crazy. According to some ancient texts and traditions such as the Book of Enoch and the Kabbalah, Jacob's Ladder is not just a one-time vision that Jacob had, but rather a permanent feature of reality that exists in a specific location on earth. This location is said to be Mount Moriah or Mount Zion in Jerusalem, where the Temple of Solomon was built. The temple was believed to be the dwelling place of God on earth and the center of the world. It was also said to contain a secret chamber called the Holy of Holies, where the Ark of the Covenant was kept. The Ark was a sacred object that contained the tablets of the Ten Commandments and was said to have supernatural powers. Some scholars and researchers have suggested that the Temple of Solomon was not just a religious building, but rather a technological device that was designed to access Jacob's ladder and harness its energy. They claim that the temple was built according to precise geometric and mathematical specifications that corresponded to the dimensions and structure of reality. They also claim that the Ark of the Covenant was not just a box with tablets inside it, 
but rather a capacitor or generator that stored and emitted electromagnetic energy. According to this theory, the Temple of Solomon was essentially a quantum portal that allowed communication and travel between different dimensions and universes. It was a gateway to the quantum realm where anything is possible. The temple was also a link to the divine source of creation or God who resides in the highest dimension or universe. The temple was a way to transcend time and space and to experience the ultimate reality. This theory may sound far-fetched, but it is not without evidence or support. There are many ancient legends and stories that describe how people and objects disappeared or reappeared in the temple, or how they experienced visions or miracles there. There are also many modern accounts of people who claim to have visited or seen the temple in their dreams or altered states of consciousness. One of the most influential figures who explored the connection between Jacob's Ladder and the quantum realm was Carl Jung, a famous psychologist and mystic. Jung was fascinated by the symbolism and meaning of Jacob's Ladder, and he used it as a framework for his theory of the collective unconscious and the archetypes. Jung believed that there is a deeper layer of reality that underlies our conscious experience, and that this layer is shared by all humans across time and space. He called this layer the collective unconscious, and he said that it contains universal patterns or images that he called archetypes. These archetypes are expressions of the fundamental forces and principles that govern reality such as order and chaos, light and dark, masculine and feminine, etc. Jung also believed that these archetypes can manifest in our dreams, myths, religions, art, and culture, and that they can influence our behavior and personality. He said that by studying these archetypes, we can gain insight into ourselves and our place in the cosmos. He also said that by aligning ourselves with these archetypes, we can achieve a state of wholeness or integration that he called individuation. There are many locations on Earth that are said to be portals or gateways to other dimensions and realities. Some examples are Jerusalem, Mount Sinai, Stonehenge, Giza, Machu Picchu, Sedona, etc. Be open-minded and curious. The most important thing to remember when exploring Jacob's Ladder and the Quantum Realm is to keep an open mind and a curious attitude. Don't be afraid to question everything, but also don't be too quick to judge or dismiss anything. Be willing to learn from different perspectives and experiences, but also trust your own intuition and discernment. Be humble enough to admit that you don't know everything, but also confident enough to share what you do know. That's all for today, folks. I hope this video has inspired you to learn more about Jacob's Ladder and the Quantum Realm, and how they can transform your life and your world. Thanks for watching Faith Fix. I'm Orphelian signing off. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.